Yes, good evening, people. We are here. Um, Tottenham's transfer talk is back. Lots of news as well um, surrounding Human Son. And yeah, we'll jump straight into it. First things first, if you just join on the stream, make sure you do smash the likes. Let's try and hit 100 on this stream as soon as we can. That's normally the target. Um, and my Instagram is pinned in the chat. It's just there, Henry Wright 365. You could go over and drop that a follow. That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting today as well. Lots of lots of news surrounding Adama Traore. Lots of um, reports coming out from the Daily Mail, the Telegraph, Fabrizio Romano. Lots of stuff um, to dive right into. Um, so let's just jump straight off. So yeah, Adama Traore. £20 million pounds is what he is available for. People have got mixed feelings about it, completely divided down the middle. Should we get him? Should we not get him? Is he worth it? What position is he going to play? And I think 100% we should get him for that price, considering Human Son now has an injury and Human Son is going to miss both Chelsea games, the North London derby and the Leicester game. He is going to be out for three weeks minimum. So if we were to sign Adama Traore, would he go right wing back instead of Emerson Royale? Or would he slot in at left wing? And not only that, you know, for £20 million, I don't really think it's that it's, it's too too much of a problem. But let's welcome a few people to the stream. Jim Bird Coys is back, member of the channel. Appreciate that. Uh, James Brown. I said, big up Henry, one of the only few good Spurs. Come on, you Gooners, though. Unfortunately, he's an Arsenal fan. Josh says, come on, Henry, what we got? We've got a lot to dive into. I am going to start bringing the member show uh, member shows back. So um, we're going to pick a day of the week. I'm trying to do it on Wednesdays. That seems to be a quieter day of the week for streams. And I'll do a, um, a weekly show where I get all the members involved. I tried it last time, but a few people couldn't connect. But I am going to um, I am going to trial it again. So if you do want to come on and give your um, give your thoughts, all you got to do is sign up to the channel membership, which is available in the bio. And, uh, and yeah, come on and give your thoughts. But, um, yeah, Adama Traore. What's everyone's thoughts? 20 million. Um, I'll be there. K7 says Adama will be our victim Moses. And this is the thing, right? A lot of people have come out and said that they're not very happy with it. But at the end of the day, Antonio Conte improved Ashley Young and Victor Moses when he was at Inter Milan. And when Antonio Conte left, Victor Moses went downhill. So for £20 million in January, you know, like, don't get me wrong, he's got no goals and he's got no assists, but it's not really that bad, bad of a move, to be honest. You know, it's not... It's not a groundbreaking transfer. He's not going to come into the team and, and set the world alight. He's not going to come in and and you know change things dramatically. But for 20 million, I don't really think you can go wrong too much um, on that front. Let me see if I can um, um, share my screen and get up some of the tweets. Um, yeah, get up some of the tweets quickly. From reliable sources like Alistair Gold, etc. Um, but yeah, everyone's thoughts. Uh, Josh says um, he's going to be a right wing back, and those goals and assists might be less required. Well, that's the thing, right? That five or six years ago, um, attacking fullbacks, wing backs weren't really a thing. But now, you know, every good, every good like world class team has world class wing backs. Like Liverpool got Trent and Alex, uh, Alexander Arnold and Robertson. City have got Cancelo, Walker. You know, we in a few years ago, we had Carl Walker and Rose. You know, wingbacks are so important in today's game. Josh comes here with a super chat. Uh, big up to the donations. Big up to everyone who has donated on the channel the last few days as well. Um, lots and lots of donations coming in. So um, appreciate that. It's very kind of you all. Then why doesn't he improve Emerson though? Because the thing is like, whenever Emerson gets in these areas to cross the ball, it's just hopeless. He's absolutely hopeless when it comes to crossing the ball. And defensively, I don't think he's the worst signing, but offensively, he's terrible and he doesn't offer much. If we can improve, you know, Adama Traore's end product, then I don't see why 
why it's that bad of a deal. Uh, but big up for the donation. And like I said, big up to everyone who has donated to the channel the last few uh, few days or the last week or so, because it, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Every donation that goes onto the channel is going back in. We're going to start um, investing into better equipment soon. So the streams will be better. I'm looking at getting a green screen as well. So we'll have much better streams coming. Um, apparently so. Um, like I said, um, let me just quickly go on to the world of Twitter and read the report that I just see literally a second ago. Well, this is another one coming out. AC Milan have held contact with the agents of Tottenham centre-back Jaffet Tanganga 15 days ago for a move. But Spurs only want a permanent sale for 25 million euros. I'd, I'd, I'd happily let Tanganga go for 25 million euros. Ice comes in with a second donation of string. Fair enough, Emerson is a back four right back. Yeah, but obviously in, under Antonio Conte, we're, we're only going to play the back three. So, listen, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, Matt, Smith, Matt Smith's a very um, reliable journalist as well. Um, so, if this is very likely, then you know, I might go all the way to the end, but we need him in ASAP. A big up ice once again for the second uh, for the second donation. Um, duh, 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 duh. Nuno apparently was completely convinced by Hugo Lloris for the long term, but Antonio Conte, uh, sorry, Nuno wasn't completely convinced by Hugo Lloris for the long term, but Antonio Conte wants him to stay. There are well over uh, the well the talks are undergoing over a new contract that was Fabrizio Romano. Um, so obviously Hugo Lloris, you know. What a player he's been for us. But I wanted to get through the the, the nitty-gritty stuff on Adama Traore. Um, this is one thing as well. If Adama Traore comes in, we're going to look at selling Steven Bergwijn. And that was um, what Fabrizio Romano said on the last word on Spurs. Now, I don't see why we why we should be selling Steven Bergwijn if we bring in Adama Traore. Because if human son is injured, we need as much competition for that spot as we can get. Um, but he said, yeah. He said Tottenham will look at selling Steven Bergwijn if Adama Traore comes in this month. And obviously Ajax are heavily interested in uh, Steven Bergwijn. So, you know, a number of clubs will be coming in for him. Um, but people, let's make sure we smash these likes up. We've got 50 people in here already and we've only been going live for six minutes. So if you haven't already, make sure you do smash the likes up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. We're slowly approaching 4K subs. We only hit 3.8K yesterday. And we're already pushing 3.9K. Like I said, the support on the channel the last couple of weeks has been a, has been overwhelming. Um, Josh says, let's be real. Um, we should be focused on getting signings in. And I don't want us selling Bergwijn because he, he had, he'd be a lamb or something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How are I'm all good. Hope you're well. Uh, Michael says, um, we need a ball playing midfielder and a creative midfielder. Traore is the least. And this is the thing, right? Our weakest area in our squad is our centre midfield, right? We don't have a ball playing centre midfielder. We don't have a midfielder that can play that killer pass. We don't. We just don't have a playmaker. But in the formation that we are playing, predominantly all the creativity comes from the wing backs. So like Adama Traore and Regulon, if Adama does come, that's all our creativity there. But at the end of the day, we still need a central midfielder who can play that killer pass. You know, lots of talks of McKenney, lots of talks of Kessie, lots of talks of, of other central midfielders. But in January, what people don't seem to understand is it's very, very difficult for teams to buy first team players because the window is so short. So if you sell Adama Traore, it's not that big of a deal because he doesn't start for Wolves every day of the week, does he? He's always on the bench. He's that, you know, that he brings that fear factor, pace and power off the bench, you know, and he's, there is no better player than coming off the bench than Adama Traore if you've got a fullback who's already on a yellow card. Because straight away, you're on the rocks. He comes on, he's going to beat pretty much every defender in world football for pace. We just need to work on that end product. You know, if we can work, if, if Antonio Conte can uh, can improve that, that uh, the work ethic and improve that end product and improve that final pass, then 20 million is an absolute steal. These are all if, buts and maybes, but Listen, it's an absolute steal if, if we can improve him. Um, um, Fabrizio Romano also said centre-back is ma the main priority this window. And then we'll have to see what happens with other positions. Um, a Daily Mail, but sources have indicated the possibility of Traore joining Spurs after these months. These links are getting stronger by the day. Spurs are looking to sign a new striker to provide competition to Harry Kane and a left centre-back this month. 
Um, Antonio Conte is super happy with his relationship with Fabio Paratici and Daniel Levy, and he's in and he's in love with the training ground. Daniel Levy is currently on a flight over to the Bahamas to have a conversation with Joe Lewis to discuss this month's transfer budget. Um, so yeah, so Daniel Levy on his way over to the Bahamas. No way he couldn't just make a phone call, but each to their own. Another bit of news. Wolves are aware Tottenham's Tottenham's interest in the 25-year-old and are willing to let the Spanish international leave this month with Traore entering the final 12 months of his contract. Wolves would like to wrap up this deal for 20 millions and are currently unwilling to let Matt Doherty go the other way. So obviously Paratici is trying to lure Matt Doherty in some sort of swap deal for Traore. So listen, if Traore, if we get Traore and Matt Doherty goes the other way, then it's brilliant, brilliant business. But now the club have come out and said that they are unwilling to let Matt Doherty go due to Sergio Regulon's fitness and potential injury. Obviously, uh, Matt Doherty started left back against Chelsea and it didn't really go down too well, did it? Let's be completely real. Let's get the right. Be an excellent signing for us. Terry says, any chance of moving Royale to right centre back? I just don't think he's a proper right wing back. I don't think he's a. He's, I don't think he's a defender. Like, I'll be completely real. I don't. He doesn't. No, sorry. I don't think he's a right wing back because he doesn't offer anything offensively. Like you look at, you look at how easy it is to do these signings. Aston Villa are heavily linked with Philippe Coutinho. Twenty four hours later, they've signed Coutinho on loan. You know now they're looking at Basuma, Newcastle. Seventeen seventy two hours, they wrap up the Kieran Trippier deal. You know with us, we are always looking for months and months and months, and then it goes down to the wire, and we don't ever put in the right money. You know. Antonio Conte's assessment of Spurs being middle made its way back to Daniel Levy and Joe Lewis with their pair set to meet in the Bahamas this week to discuss transfer targets and possible external and possible external investment into the football club. And that's coming out from Matt Law, um, who's a very reliable um, reporter coming out of the Telegraph. Um, Tottenham are, are hopeful of completing a deal for a drama trailer this month, having fouled of a bid last summer. Um, and one other bit of news before I digest all of this. Um, Italian media have linked Spurs with AC Milan's left-footed centre-back and captain Alessio uh, Romangoli, who is out of contract this summer. But the 26-year-old is not believed to be in one of um, Paratici's targets. So, yeah, lots and lots and lots of news coming out of, of, of the club. Um Joe Lewis money. Listen, Joe Lewis is he's worth about eight or nine billion. Don't get it twisted. Don't believe that we've got no money. We've got more. We can spend more money this month than any club in the country, according to financial fair play. We can spend four hundred million pounds this month. Obviously, we're not going to spend four hundred million pounds, but we could theoretically. The money's sitting there. All these all these reporters that come out and say um, Tottenham are on a tight budget this month. We're not on a tight budget at all. We earn, earn more money on a match day than any club in world football besides Arsenal. We charge more money for season tickets than anyone in else in Europe besides Arsenal. You know? Um, it's just it's just whether we will do. You know, a hundred million on this on this on these players, if we're playing it smart, could do massively. Get Kessie on a free transfer, bring on Roman Yoli from, from AC Milan on a cheap deal because he's only got six months left in his contract. You know, bring Darma Traore in for 20 million. You spent 30 million then, you're bringing three players. You know, Kieran Trippier would have been an upgrade on Emerson Royale. He was, he went to Newcastle for 20 million. We could have signed Coutinho for, for on for on loan. There's lots of deals out there to be done. Antonio Conte believes his squad requires uh, another central midfielder at least to add to his options. Absolutely. Like, yeah. And, and this is the bit of news that I was extremely um, big up to a, uh, Mr. Waffle coming in from uh, from the Rat Army. Make sure you smash his likes up, people, as well. Um, Tarek Lamptey has been looked at as the British homegrown player, but he's believed to have a big price tag and a January move would be difficult. Listen, Tarek Lamptey is one of the most best up-and-coming prospects in the right-back position. You've got Reese James, you've got Trent, you've got uh, Tarek Lamptey, you've got Livermento, who's also a defender. Like, There's lots of up-and-coming prospects. Tarek Lamptey, according to um, reports, is available for £40 million. 40 million is not is not a um a big price tag considering he could be your right back for the next 10 years. 
the guy's what 20 years old you know it's like we just we just need to buy smart that's what this whole window is about you know we don't have a lot we don't have an, a massive amount of time we've got one month right the Demarzio uh, and Fabrizio Romano coming out and saying that we're going to have a very very big summer if we don't go out and put money into this football club now then uh, and and we start losing games and and we start getting more and more injuries because we don't have good enough backups to come in and play then Antonio Conte is going to get annoyed and it it wouldn't surprise me if if he fell out with Daniel Levy in the board. The report coming out and saying that he's got, you know, a good relationship. Let's hope that's true. Because if he doesn't, then we are seriously going to struggle. Um, but big up to everyone who's in the stream at the moment. Um, Daniel Turner says, there is deals, but bringing back Trippier is not the answer. We will not spend better this summer. Box to box and a second striker is a must window. Listen, I'm not saying it's not the answer, but it would be an improvement on Emerson Royale. You know? Um, you know, for twelve million pounds, um, you can't really, can't really argue on it. Uh, big up to Ice as well. He's been a member for six months. Listen, if you do want to become a member, it is available in the channel, uh, in the bio. You just click join membership, and um, once a week, starting. Would you know we're starting from? Um, we won't start it next Wednesday because I'm on We Are Tottenham TV. But we'll start it one day next week. We'll, we'll do member only shows, and I'll bring you uh, all you guys on whoever wants to come on, and um, you can hear your thoughts, and uh, and yeah. But big up to Ice, he's been a member for six months now. Um, SOF says, there are some fears within the Tottenham Hotspur squad that human son's injury could rule him out for as long as five weeks. Listen, it is, and this is another thing as well. Um, big up to Jim Burkoy as well. He says, membership costs less than a pint. Exactly. You know, I, it's, it's as cheap as I could make it. I'm not asking you to to chuck money at the channel. I'm just asking you to like, come on and, and um, share your thoughts. But this is the thing. With um with human son being out for five weeks, you know it's going to be Brian Hill or it's going to be Steven Bergvine who play left wing. And out the two of them, let's be real, like they're not they're not setting a world alight. They're not they're not um sorry we're out of focus. They're not coming in and, and doing absolute bits. You know Brian Hill come off the bench against Chelsea. We will go back in focus shortly. Um come off the bench against Chelsea and did okay. And Steven Bergvine hasn't really been fit for um for a few months, but it's just, you know, it's it's the same old putting us for some reason my webcam will not focus. But anyway, hopefully it'll focus shortly. Um, seventy of you in the building so far, and we're on currently thirty five likes. If you haven't already, make sure you do smash the like. Let's try and hit seventy five as soon as we can. Let's put it in here. This is the target. Let's try and hit this. I'll put it on the screen now. Let's try and hit seventy five likes as soon as we can. And if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, make sure to follow my Instagram as well. That is pinned in the chat. Um, I don't know. This geezer is just going to get removed. See you later. Thanks for coming. Right, he's gone. Um, love face, whoever he was. But yeah, um, what are your thoughts on this month? You know, if we was to bring in Adama Traore and a centre-back, what would be your thoughts um, this month? Because... You know, lots of players out there. Like I said, we need to work smart. Look at Leicester's, um, look at the way Leicester operate. They sell Harry Maguire, they go and buy Soyuncu, and they spend, you know, 70, 80 million pounds on their training ground. And then they use that training ground to not manage United out of the FA Cup last year and then go on and win um, win the FA Cup. Um, so, um, yeah, but let's try and hit 75 likes. There's, we're, all, we're nearly at 50 already. So you guys are absolutely smashing it out of the park. Um, but yeah, what what are your thoughts? Twenty million for Adama Traore? Um, no, we're not signing anyone called Loveface. That was just some bot in the stream. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be. Hopefully, it's gonna be a. Um, it's gonna be a. Hopefully, a busy window. But yeah, uh, Alvin says, uh, "Big up, yeah, big up to you, mate. Hope you're all well." Um, Adama is a sexy beast. <laughs> Bad window. People are saying Danny Mara reported a centre back and a striker and Adama as well. Yeah, I, I mean, if we can sign a, a solid centre back, because you know, when Romero comes back, it's going to be Romero, that centre back, and then whoever comes in and then Dyer. Um, but yeah, we're at 50 likes, people, so we've got 25 likes to go. I'm going to, um, I'm going to see if I can get any other, um, 
Um, apparently, Coutinho was never a Conte target. Um, Tottenham have an option to buy Philippe Coutinho for 40 million euros alongside Aston Villa, and that's coming out from. It's not a massive reliable source. That as well. Um, um, Antonio Conte has held private meetings with senior figures at the club in mapping out how to reshape the squad. Now, that's interesting to see as well, because you look at the way we performed against Chelsea, and that was one, probably one of our probably one of our worst performances in a few years. Um, Antonio Conte is ready to sell half a dozen Spurs players as part of the Spurs revamp. Delhi, Bergwijn, Doherty and Undombele are amongst the list of players willing to sell. And that's coming out from ESPN. Um, if Wales do not qualify for the World Cup in Qatar, Gareth Bale will decide whether he wants to retire or carry on playing. That's coming out from their flag. Would people in the stream, would you take Gareth Bale back? I'd love to know your thoughts. Would you take Gareth Bale back? Um, oh, Henry, right, right, right. Appreciate the love on the, uh, on the um on the channel for six months. Yes, that performance reminded me of the North London derby. That was even worse, even worse. Um, we desperately need a great midfielder. And Arsenal has about 10 more goals. And honestly, without human son and coming up for that North London derby, then it's going to be, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough to get, um to get a result out of this team without, you know, potential son. Like, listen, I said this earlier on Twitter on a space uh, with Tobes. I said, I personally think we should drop human son because he looks burnt out. And he hasn't really put in a clear performance in months. He scored a few tappings here or there recently, and he's had a few good passes, but he doesn't look anywhere near the player from eight or nine months ago. He looks absolutely, you know, burnt out. So the way I was thinking about it is if we was to drop him, you know, potentially give a couple of games to heal and let him regenerate his fitness and then bring him and then like bring him back into the team. I never thought he was gonna get injured, but now it just it puts a massive strain on on Tanya Conte because this squad is completely sh being stretched at the moment. Um, listen, it's it's a uh, it's on my phone side quickly. Um, it's 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 a massive, you know, hundred percent. It, it's a massive miss. Yeah, he can play on the right, but obviously he's injured. Um, Sources that have indicated that it's a possibility of a Traore joining this month are strong. Yeah, 100%. That's coming out from um, the Daily Mail. Um, it's going to be it, it's going to be real tough for whoever whoever plays on that left wing spot because instantly, naturally, we're going to compare them to the likes of um, of Human Son. Um, but yeah, once again, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're slowly approaching 4K subs. I will do a giveaway at 4K as well. I don't know if it's going to be a shirt or or something like that. But the target was to hit 100 likes in the stream. There's 90 of you in here already. It's a big up to everyone who is in the chat. Um, 51 likes in the video. Let's try and hit 75. Like I said earlier, uh, K7, January and Summer in Zadama, Divry, Romangoli. Teo, Teo Hernandez is never going to join Tottenham in a million years. He, he will never join Spurs. He can pretty much join any club in Europe at the moment. Kessie. Wouldn't even probably be 20 million. Um, Dybala, I think that's that ship's kind of soured now. I don't really like Dybala would be a, a decent um, option for us, but how high his wages are, I don't necessarily think it's realistic. And Vlahovic, if he doesn't join in January, I doubt he's going to join in the summer because every top club in Europe is going to be after him. But I agree with Adama, Divry, Roman Goli. Kessie, but a lot, but Teo Hernandez, Dybala and Vlahovic are probably unrealistic for us unless we get a massive injection of money in the next couple of months to say, like, do you know what, we can go out and buy these players because it's gonna be it's gonna be real tough for us. And this is what people seem to understand. Like, we're not in an attractive position um at the moment for for any top player to come over 
and join us. We're not in. We're not even in the European competition. We're we're struggling to, uh, to get into European spots. You know, we're struggling to get in the top four. You know, why would the likes of Dusan Vlahovic come and join Tottenham? Looking at our current squad. You know, we don't have a playmaker. We don't have a, a reliable defence. We don't really have any vocal players on the pitch. We don't really have any wingers besides Son and Lucas. The squad depth isn't the best. We don't. We can't. We can't perform in big games away from home. So why would the likes of Dusan Vlahovic join us over the likes of Man City, United, Chelsea? You know, you look at it at the moment. Let's be completely real about things. Arsenal squad at the moment is far superior to ours. You know, it's it's just Conte has got a massive job on his hands to get more out of these players because, like, um, yeah, you are true. It's absolutely spot on. People, our fans and, and football fans are just very impatient. They want the best for their football club. Um, but sometimes you've just got to, you just got to be patient. Um, it's embarrassing our fans have meltdowns. Why are we only, we're only a few days into the window? But the thing is, like, getting, getting your business done early. I don't really, I don't really have a, um, I don't really have an issue with that. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I would like us to get our business done early because then you can, um, you can get him into the squad as fast as you can, but um, yeah. Prince uh, DM31 says, Henry, there is no way Conte wants a Dharma. He is actually shit. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Like, he's shit under a manager that doesn't rate him. If you can fill a player out of confidence, and if Antonio Conte can improve the likes of, um, you know, Victor Moses and Ashley Young while he was into Milan, I've got every every confidence in Antonio Conte that he could, you know, improve. Um, he can improve Adama Traore. Uh, Deli Ali has zero value. Yeah, hundred percent. Like he needs to just go. Um, would you swap a cash deal for Kusamawa Deli Ali? Hundred percent. Um, uh, it's not transfer fees; it's the wages. This is it as well. Um, you know. That's why I think the likes of Dybala is unrealistic because he's on like 275 or 300 grand a week as Juventus. Is he going to come and join Tottenham and get that and get paid less? Probably not. Not in a million years. Um, Adama has pros and cons. Yeah, every player's got pros and cons. Every single player has. Um, but yeah, let me also let me know your thoughts on like if you could sign a centre back. Um, would you would you would you be happy if we signed Roman Goli? Um, Roman, how do you say his name from AC Milan? I think it'd be a decent signing for us. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be pretty happy with that if he signed. Um, but yeah, we're on 57 likes. There's 100 people in the chat, so big up to everyone who has who has tuned in. Apparently, if we uh, if we want Coutinho, apparently if we Coutinho does well on the loan, we have an option to buy. Yeah, I'm not sure how reliable that um that uh. News is that sources. Deli Ali, Deli Ali, Sanchez, Dyer, Regulon, Emerson, Winks, Davis, Bergman, Under Miller, the Celso Galini can fuck off. One hundred percent. Yeah, he's a decent signing. He'd be a decent signing. One hundred percent. Um. Um. Yeah, he'd be a decent signing. Like, if he's on a free transfer, then Paratici has got to do his thing. You got all these scouts in Italy. Start proving it. Start bringing in some free transfers for us. Yeah, Coutinho has joined Villa. Um, it's true though. Like it's true. We got so much Deadwood. When you actually think about, let's be real. When you think about the amount of players and the amount of Deadwood we've got in this squad, right? You've got Matt Doherty. You've got, you know, Davinson De Sanchez and Eric Dyer are not world beaters. You've got Undon Bella, you've got Harry Winks, you've got um, Stephen Bergvine, Deli Alley, um, Galini. You've got, you know, probably, I'm not even taking the piss, you've probably got an excess of 10 players that could be sold tomorrow that are simply not good enough to compete us, you know, in, in the Champions League. When you look at the team we had in the Champions League, you had Toby, Jan, Danny Rose, Trippier, um, Dembele, Victor Wanyama, Son Kane, Ericsson. You know, Ericsson and Dembele still haven't been replaced. And we sold Dembele like three years ago now. We still have not found a, a, a player of that ability, you know. Um, 
we haven't replaced Christian Eriksen. We tried to replace Christian Eriksen and then brought buy Christian Eriksen back. We tried to replace him with himself. So like when you think about it, we haven't actually replaced any of the players that we should have in this transfer market. Um, Football Source says, big up, Henry. Uh, hopefully I can link up on a transfer show sometime. Yeah, I appreciate that. You will. I'll get. Listen, I am going to from next week, we're going to do membership shows. So if you want to come on. And uh, share your thoughts on the um, on the show. I'm going to link in, put the link in, and you can become a channel member. And um, yeah, I'm going to do a channel membership. You can come on next. We we'll do it from next week. And um, if you use this link right there, and you click on the join section, you use this link right here. Click on the join section and uh, become a member. And then from next week, we'll, we'll start up the uh, the member only shows where you can, if you if you're a member, you can come on and share your thoughts on like the latest signings, whether it's going to be a Darwin Trey or whoever it, whoever it may be. But this is the thing, right? Like you haven't got a, everyone, all the, all these clubs, when we're after certain players, we, we spend days, weeks, months scouting players. Aston Villa have literally signed Cortinho within 24 hours. That's how quickly they do their business. Do you remember when they first signed Danny Ings? It just was like straight away they signed him. There was no news, you know, working in the shadow sort of thing silent business and all of a sudden you know they've signed danny ings who's a fantastic goal scorer um yeah welcome to the stream welcome back um gerard tax yeah Coutinho's linked back up with um with with stevie g so yeah i mean here's what it is sort of thing i would have taken Coutinho. I was a bit negative about it last night on the THFC show, but now looking at it, I probably would take Coutinho. You know, we don't really have anyone that's, you know, a, a, a 10, an actual cam or a number 10. Um, it's just the same. It, it, it's like, hasn't been really had a lot of football, but it's all to do with the management. If we, if Conte works with him and tries to improve his game, then obviously he's going to improve. He can't get any worse than he already is. Um this is the thing. We all, we, uh, Stu's right. We always do drag things out. We take an eternity to do any business. Like, it's it's the same old with Tottenham. Um, but yeah, once again, channel memberships is available in the um, in the channel bio. So if you want to become a member and come on next week, we'll schedule it in for next uh, next Tuesday. Um, you can. We we'll do next Tuesday, seven p.m. You can come on and, uh, and share your thoughts. Um, um, where would Coutinho play a wing or cam? Probably cam for us. Um, yeah, we we just need some sort of creativity because we don't have any at the moment, and that's why we're heavily trying to rely on our wing backs. In um, we're trying to rely on the likes of um, Emerson Royale and, and Regulon, and this is why we're not scoring many goals because conveniently. Neither of that walk. Well, uh, Regulon can put in a decent cross, but Emerson Royale can't. Um, would you take Kostic as a Regulon replacement? Probably not. I do like I do like Regulon, but he's under a lot of criticism at the moment. A lot of people are, are digging him out, saying that he's not good enough, this and that. But yeah, let me um let me go back to see if there's any more news quickly um. Sky Sports have just tweeted out Tottenham are showing a strong interest in Son and Dalmo Traore. They're always late to the party. Tottenham have confirmed um, any supporter that enters the field may receive a three-year ban. Um, Bruno Large, Lag, or however you say it, the Wolves manager, Large, has now green-lighted Adama Traore with his 25-year-old winning to play right wing back under Antonio Conte. Spurs have now made contact with Wolves. That's coming out from 90 minutes or 90 min. Yeah, these are the fixtures that Cuban Son's going to miss. More come in the FA Cup. Chelsea at home in the Caballero Cup. Um, Arsenal in the Premier League. Leicester in the Premier League. And Chelsea in the Premier League. So three massive, massive Premier League fixtures that he's going to miss. Um, Tottenham have made an offer of £60 million for Porto's Luis Diaz. However, the bid was refused with the Portuguese club demanding... Um, around the ranges of 80 million. That's coming out from a source out of Portugal. Um, 
Daily Mail have tweeted out saying Spurs are looking to sign a new striker in January to provide competition for Harry Kane. And this is the thing as well, right? No player in a football match is not worth dropping. And if Harry Kane continues this form where he scores a few goals here or there, then, you know, and we bring in a striker, then he, 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 listen, if we was to bring in the Dusan Vlahovic, then maybe drop Kane for a few games. But because we don't have another striker, this is what we've, this is what we've got to play with, you know? Uh, we're at 70 likes now, people. So big up to everyone who has smashed a like on the stream. If you haven't, you know what to do. Um, Josh says, Lowell Henry, Liverpool were linked with four, um, with four over 60 mil. Yeah, that player is linked with so many clubs. He's pretty much on everyone's books at the moment. Um, so, um, we'll see if there's any more news. Um, but yeah, 100 people in the stream. It's a big up to everyone who's tuned in. It's the same old stuff, mate. Um, Henry, why should we get Coutinho and try and prove him? Um, we always say Tottenham should not do that. But at the end of the day, like we don't have we don't have a playmaker. We don't have a creative midfielder. We don't have anyone that can actually play that killer pass. You know, it's the same old stuff with us. It's always been the same old. Um, no, I don't think we'd, we'd take the risk on Ericsson. Um would you take uh, Milinkovic 100% as a centre-back option? 100%. Um, Traore is a big upgrade on Doherty or Bergvine. This is what I'm saying. Like the, like I said earlier, um, what players do we need? Uh, a wing-back, a right wing-back, a centre-back, a creative player and a striker and a winger. We need, five, we need five or six players to make this team actually competent on all fronts. Because when you look at Chelsea squad, like man for man, did either of us actually? Um, did anyone here actually feel confident um, going into that? Like, let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, Hang on, I'm trying to. Sh I don't know what's happening here, but yeah. Can everyone? No, that's gone completely wrong. I need to get better at this. I'll share my screen in a minute, but I wanted to look at these lineups, right? Chelsea played Ariza Blaga, Aspen Equator, Rudiger, Saar, Alonso, Sal, Jorginho, Ziyech, Mount, Lukaku, and Havers. That's not the strongest team by any means. That is not the strongest team, right? We managed. Two shots on target against Saar, Aspen Equator, Alonso and Rudiger. Aspen Equator is 32 years old, right? Alonso is 31 years old. Saar has played barely any football. So the only first team player they had there was Rudiger. Like... That we couldn't manage two shots on target more than two shots on targets against that team. This is why we need a creative midfielder. We don't have anyone who can put the ball in dangerous areas. Yeah, that's the thing with Adama. But listen, if he's going to be playing uh, right wing back for us, so it doesn't it, like it's not it's not the bill and end of things. Someone should say what you're saying. THFC reporter put Stephen Bergvine wants to join Ajax and is waiting for an agreement between Ajax and Tottenham. In order for that to happen, Ajax needs to sell David Neres first. Shakhtar Donetsk is pole position to sign the Brazilian winger for 13 million euros. See, why can't we go and sign? Why can't we go and sign David Neres? He's a better footballer than Steven Bergwijn. He's a better footballer. Like, it's simple as that. Um, I'm thinking about doing it. At the, uh, it starts at the weekend, doesn't it? Does it start at the weekend? Uh, I think it starts at the weekend. Let me have a look. Me and Leah were thinking about doing um, thinking about um, doing some sort of Algeria watch-alongs. Um, would anyone be interested in that? Is anyone? Is everyone looking forward to the African Cup? African Cup of Nations. Uh, Neres is bowling out now, right now as well. This is what I'm saying. He walks into our team. Hundred percent. 
but prob we probably won't. Um, they're all good until they're signed for us. And this is 100%. You are spot on, Peter. You are absolutely spot on. You know, as soon as we get a link with a player, all of a sudden that player becomes world class. Um, Daniel Levy is the biggest issue at, uh, at your club. If you gave Conte 100 million or 120, he would sign four or five players with that squad and you could win the league. And maybe not win the league, but we'd be in a lot better position than we are now. You're spot on. Dan Daniel Levy has always been the same for 20 years since he signed his football, since he bought his football club. It's been the same old situation for 20 years. You know, 20 years, the exact same situation. Always the same, you know. he We used to average um 3.2 trophies per decade before daniel levy took over since daniel levy's taken over we've won one league cup in 22 years 22 years we've won one league cup and this is the reason you look at what chelsea have won since um oh, since um the, the same time we've hang on my cable's got stuck one second you look at what chelsea have won since since that time and it's it's mind-blowing compared to us it's absolutely mind-blowing you know we've we've barely even challenged compared to them you know it's embarrassing oh, that's the wrong bit oh, sorry one of my cables has fallen on that but yeah we've yeah that's what i'm saying we've barely even challenged on on, on any front and you look what Right, we're back. For some reason, that completely just cut out there. But what I'm saying is, you look what Chelsea have done. It's it's mind blowing compared to us. Um, in recent times, we have we haven't challenged on on any front um, whatsoever when it comes to, you know, when it comes to the likes of building trophies. Sorry about that. My 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 um my um thingy completely cut off there. Um, well, I should be able to now. Um. Here we go. I can share my screen now. Um, right, let's quickly go on to let's open this up. Let's drag this over there. And let's open up Twitter. Let's get up some of these reports. Right, we should all be able to see that. Let's get rid of that. Right, um, yeah, I wanted to um so if you don't already follow, make sure you follow these guys. These guys are pretty good when it comes to reliable information um uh understanding a hamstring injury for son while Conte is hopeful it will be two weeks out there are some fears of the club that it might be as much as five and this is what um someone tagged me earlier to say that um you know it's not looking good for us it's really not looking good um when it comes to the this sort of news um like five weeks out is massive for us it's absolutely massive um who like would you rather play brian hill or stephen bergvine at that left wing spot um if you're not following me on twitter the link is literally this here go over and drop it a follow right now um let's get through some more quick news um from top and tears make sure you go drop them a follow they're really reliable um tottenham are expected to make a firm bid for a dharma trail rate this month and that's coming out from a reliable source as you can see there um See if there's any more news. Um, Tottenham are attempting to wrap up a 20, 20 million pound move for Wolves star Adama Traore, but currently unwilling to let Matt Doherty go the other way. Um, what's everyone's thoughts on that? Not not willing to let Matt Doherty go the other way. Um, and this is the thing. Look at this. Aston Villa have just spent money on the loan signing of. You know, and now they're after Bissouma. Now that's how a proper club operates. 
They've seen Steven Gerrard come in. They've, they like what they see. They want to expand. And what are they doing? They're looking at buying a proper defensive midfielder, a certified player. And what are we doing? We can't even, we can't even sign a Dharma Traore yet. And they've already signed one player, and now they're looking at going after Bissou. You know, this is what I'm saying. Like, this player right here is the sort of player we need. You know? Um, I saw something else a second ago. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, this is what I wanted to show as well. Um, I was looking at that Tottenham. If you look at the lineups, right? Let's go on to Google. When we type in Tottenham. And we look at our previous lineup against Chelsea, right? We couldn't break this team down. Look at these lineups, right? Can everyone see that all right? So we had two shots on target against an aging defence in Aspilicueta, Alonso. Like, out of their actual team, Havertz isn't a normal star. Aspilicueta doesn't usually start. Saar doesn't usually start. Alonso is only starting purely on the fact that Ben Chilwell was injured. Sal doesn't usually start. Ziyech doesn't usually start. That's pretty, and then you look at ours, that's pretty much our full strength squad. Besides maybe um, Dyer and Regulon. That's pretty much our full strength squad. And we and we managed, what, two shots on target. You know, and this is why Antonio Conte said there is no comparison. There is absolutely no comparison in, in, um, in, um, in the squads. So, uh, but yeah, if you guys, in, like, do, is anyone actually enjoying me sharing my screen, looking at other stuff, or is it like talking about it, or do we just go back to normal streams? Let me know. Let's look at this report. Uh, this is coming from Rich Romano. Um, Nuno wasn't completely convinced by Hugo Lloris for the long term, but Antonio Conte wants him to stay. Um, talks are going well over a new new contract, but it isn't done yet. Um, so, like, listen, how can this is the difference, right? Hugo Lloris has been here what? 10, 10 years? About about ten years he's been here this season, or at least eight or nine years. Um here we go. Contact on Bergvine. Uh, I spoke with, with Stephen today and his feeling is good. He's improving day by day, step by step. My expectation and the medical department's expectation is to come back very soon. It will be very important to recover Stephen Bergvine. He knows it'll be very, very important, purely on the fact that Stephen that human son's injured. You know, this is this is this is big problem for us. We should go out and buy a left winger. So this is it. Human son picked up a muscle injury in his leg versus Chelsea, and he's likely to be sidelined until the end of this cycle before the international break. And this reporter here, um, Dan uh, Kilpatrick, is a very reliable reporter. He's from the Evening Standard, and he uh, only covers Tottenham. But um, yeah. yeah, another thing, and uh, from Fab. Antonio Conte has never been a manager to give a lot of game time to a second goalkeeper. Obviously not, because we've got we've got um, we've got Galini, and he's not. What's everyone's thoughts on Galini as well? Um, does everyone actually rate him, or is it the same sort of situation with um, um, with Conte? Does everyone want me to stop sharing my screen, or? If there's anything that you want me to have a look at, just send it in. Here you go. Um, Spurs are looking to sign a new striker to provide competition for Harry Kane and a left back this month. Um, Tottenham look to be edging closer, snapping up a Dharma Traore. So listen, it looks like we are we are on the verge of of potentially signing um Adama Traore. Um this is the report I was talking about earlier. Tottenham made an offer for 60 million euros for Porto's Luis Diaz. However the bid was refused with the Portuguese club demanding around a region of 80 million euros. And not being funny if Liverpool are coming in for and offering you more money and a better you know club to go to why would you choose Tottenham? Um 
Uh, da, 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 da. We don't have a news on Tottenham. No, it doesn't look like it's going to even be anything. But yeah, like I said, make sure you go over to my Twitter, drop it a follow. It's just there. Um, but yeah, if there's any if there's any links or any any news you want me to have a look at, just let me know and I'll have a look now while I've got my screen shared. Um, uh, Henry, check the McKenny news. What sort of um, what sort of what platform was it on Twitter? It was on Twitter. I'll have a look. Um. Yeah, this was someone just asked for the Jaffa Tanganga news. That's it there. AC Milan have had contact with uh, agents of Tottenham centre back Jaffa Tanganga 15 days ago for a loan move. But Spurs only want a permanent sale of 25 million euros. Let's see if there will be new contacts. And that's, I'm not sure this is 54,000 followers who so seems legit, but. Last word on Spurs. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Antonio Conte is ready to sell half a dozen Spurs players as part of his rebuild. Delhi, Bergwijn, Doherty, and Ndombele all available this month. So, like, you've seen it there. You know, he's straight away. He's um, he's looking at selling. He's selling um, lots and lots of players. But if you enjoyed me, like I said, if you enjoyed me sharing my sharing my screen, I'll try and do that more often, and try and we'll try and go through some sort of reports together. But um, but. Yeah, there's lots of news on McKenny as well. 35 million euros for McKenny. Juventus are smoking. I mean, personally, I wouldn't pay that for him, but everyone's got a price tag at the end of the day. Um, Traore will become the real deal under Conte. Possibly. It all depends. It literally, like I said, it all depends on where he's played. That's what it all comes down to. Um, we're 10 likes away from 100 people so if you haven't already make sure you do smash the like button while you're in here it'd be greatly appreciated that's what I'm saying he turned Moses into a decent wing back you know so why can't he do it with Adama Traore there's, there's, there's everything he's got he's got all the attributes as an attacking player he just needs to improve his his end product but it's just that defensive when we're coming up against big teams like Liverpool City Man United away do you trust Adama Traore defensively to put in a solid performance, you know? Do you trust Adama Traore defensively? Probably not at the moment, but if he can improve him and he actually believes that he can do the job, then then why not? Um, Traore will become the real deal on the con, eh? Sign Hulk Hogan. I've actually met Hulk Hogan, believe it or not. I met him in Sheffield. Um, how many transfers do you think Tottenham will do this window? I reckon two. I reckon two. I reckon we'll get a Dharma. I reckon we'll get a Dharma around the middle of the month. We'll agree a fee in the next week or so, and it'll be a week after that. But um, with regards to a second player, it's, it's got to be, has to be a creative midfielder or a centre back. Has to be one of those two. Um, you know, I, I don't want to see, I don't want to see uh, any of these duds come in. Um, um we need uh four to five but we'll do two three that's that's what i'm probably reckon we need more than four to five we need about eight or nine decent players um but yeah there's not i'm seeing if there's any other news um someone sent me a tweet again. but yeah um what do you, how many players do you think we're going to sign this month? Is it is it one, two, four, five? There's no other news actually on the um on the transfer front. Um, let's see if uh if if there's any other any other news. Um, there's not a massive amount to be fair apart from I think I've pretty much covered everything absolutely not it's never going to happen in a million years um, 
take Ericsson back uh, with a stopgap creative for Henry. Yeah, but listen, it's um, I I would take Ericsson back, but I just don't know how how um how he's gonna like what's the situation with him because obviously you know he had he had problem heart problems and now he's got I think he's got a pacemaker in, but if he's completely fully fit, then why not? Personally, I think Fiorentina duo would be great for you guys. Tiago Almada, great young player, would suit you guys. Um, lineup predictions. Apparently, um, apparently Harry Kane is not playing over the weekend. You wouldn't expect him to. He's playing against a League One side at home in the Cup. We should hope to play a lot of the kids. I'd like to see Dane Scarlett play, um, if I could. Um, uh, Adama, Divry, or Brahma, and a Cam. Yeah, hundred percent. Loads of players out there. We've just got to be, you know, ruthless and go in for the kill. If Arsenal pipe us for Vlahovic, we finish 100% Cody or spot on. Like, if they if they sign Vlahovic, it is curtains. It is absolute curtains for us. Um, and, yeah, we'll have, we'll have to see. But um, Deli Ali is playing. Yeah, I'd imagine Deli Ali will play. Harry Winks might play. Son Kane and Hoiberg are playing every game due to the weak squad. No wonder they're burnt out. And this is the thing. Like, Hoiberg's most recent performance is probably his worst performance at Chelsea I've seen in a Spurs shirt. Um, like, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised because he's burnt out. Um... If Arsenal get Vlahovic, then top four is a wrap. I pray it doesn't happen. I don't think they will. I don't think he's in. They're the most. They're the club putting in um, the highest bid, but I don't think that they're. Um, I don't think that Vlahovic himself um, wants to join. I don't think he believes in in their vision, in their project. Project. So you know, he's he's a world class. If we um, I actually might share my screen again actually, um, and look at his uh. Let's look at his. Um, let's look at his. I'm just searching Google and Google. Dusan Vlahovic. Ah, uh, Uh, where is it? The transfer market gone. Here you go. So according to transfer market, his estimated value is 63 uh, million. Um, he's only his contract finishes at June 2023. Um, this season he's played 19 appearances, scored 16 goals, and got three assists. That return is absolutely obscene. Um, he's got 56% of Fiorentina's goals. 56%. That's just obscene. Um, Fiorentina signed him for 1.76 million. That's just obscene. And then you look at like... Um, He's got his record this season overall. He's played um, 18, uh, 21 games with Fiorentina, got 18 goals and three assists. So he's got a goal contribution every single game. Um, that's re absolutely ridiculous. He's won Coppa Italia. He's a Serbian champion and he's a top goal scorer for some sort of trophy. But that, that's, that return is ridiculous. Um, any other players we should have a look at while we're on here? What about Alexander Asset? That's a good one. Um, Alexander Isak, Swedish striker. His current market value is 36 million. His contract finishes in 2026. He's played five goals in the Europa League this season, got three, um, five games, got three goals. He's a Liga record, 10, uh, 16 appearances, four goals, one assist. 
and he's got a Del Rey record, two games, one goal, one assist. So his record no, is not as as clean as um, not as clean as um, Dusan Vlahovic, but you know he's only what? How old is he? Uh, he's born in? He's twenty two years old. So like, both these players are elite. Um, let's look at how much they think Adama's is worth. Dharma Traore, here we go. According to the transfer market, they reckon he's worth 25 million. He's 25 years of age. Um, 18 appearances, not a single goal or assist. Wolf signing from Middlesbrough for 18 million. It's mad to think that he'd come out of Barcelona's academy. In the Caballero Cup, two games he's played um he's only been in the start 11 53 percent of his of his games but yeah um it's what's everyone's thoughts on the dharma traore declan rice listen he'd be he'd hit cheese going chelsea one one million percent he that that deal is basically gonna, gonna happen Probably in, in the summer, they're going to come in for a big bid. And unless West Ham offer him like 300 grand a week, then he's pretty much gone. Yeah, like he's he's massively linked with um with Fiorentina. Um, playing Deli Alli is a worst. Um, is a waste of time. Yeah, you're probably spot on. Poor finishing. Uh, well, La Celsa and Bergvine can't even hit across. Ask oh, for Banjo. Um. We're going to wrap up shortly. So um, that's what I'm saying. That record is a joke. And he's playing for Fiorentina. I mean, where are Fiorentina in um, in their league? So we look at... Let's quickly share this again. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, Fiorentina are sixth. They've scored 34 goals and conceded 25 in 19 games. You know, look at the teams in that league. Inter, Napoli, Milan, Atalanta, Juve, Roma, Lazio. You know, that's, this isn't the easiest league in the world to, to go over, you know, at, at 21 years of age and score 16 goals in 19 games. Now, that record is ridiculous. Um, someone's trail rate is another project we don't need. How many players uh, do we need to play, that play out of position before we learn? Sell Bergvine, don't buy Troy rate, and that's 40 million we have to spend now. You are spot on, but we both know what's going to happen. We're probably going to sign a Dharma trail rate. We're all going to buy into it. And then, you know, that's what will happen. Um, someone said, look at. Casper Dolberg. Is that his bear or is it HO? Is that his bear? It's not his bear. I can't even spell what's going on. I can't even spell his name. Anyway, moving on. Look at Flor like Fiorentina's recent results. So one all obviously suspended due to COVID. One all they won four nil then. Dujan Vlahovic got a brace. But he, listen, he's more likely to join Arsenal than he is us at the moment. Um, so it is what it is, sort of thing. Um, listen, if you haven't already, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're slowly approaching 3.9k subs already, and yeah, it's been absolutely nuts the support. Um, if you've got any other players, we'll quickly have a little look at at the moment but we are going to wrap up very shortly um like i said the dharma trail rate 20 million it's looking like we're getting closer and closer and closer to agreeing a fee um i normally record these sort of transfer videos do like a little 10 minute video but if you guys prefer the streams um just let me know in the comments if you'd rather do a stream or a video um and yeah fa cups on tonight man city are playing 
Are they winning by any chance? And then we're playing on Sunday against Morecambe at home. City is nil-nil. Bayern Munich are losing 2-1 to Dortmund. How much can we get for Tap? Shall I have a look at Tanganga's um, value? Well, let me quickly share this. This is our, ent our entire squad is worth 579.65 million. Let's look at our actual. So they reckon Jaffet Tanganga is worth 13.5 million. Surely we've got to get more than that. That is embarrassing, isn't it? Ryan Sessegnon, 13 million. Deli Alley's worth 20. Human Son, according to that, is worth 72 million. Harry Kane's worth 90. Serge Aurier doesn't have a club. Why don't we just go on? Why don't we just... Would anyone take Serge Aurier back? This player is going to be a um, this is the uh, Papa Sar. This is who we signed in the summer. Um, Eighteen million. He's a defensive midfielder. He's going to the African Cup of Nations to play for Senegal as well. He's got one goal, one assist in um, in the Ligue 1 and just played one appearance in a in the in the French Cup. But you know he's going to be a serious player. Is he playing uh, for La Liga team? Um, no, he's not. Serge Aurier is a, he's a free agent. You know, would anyone take him? According to this, he's not. According to this, he doesn't have a club. Let's have a look. Serge Aurier. No, he's not playing at a club. Apparently, he's been released by Villarreal. Oh no, he has. He is at Villarreal. Of course, sorry. Apparently, he's at Villarreal. They're saying he's been released. Um, is Donny Van der Beek up a punt? So yeah, I mean, I take Donny Van der Beek in a heartbeat. I'm one of these people that I've all, I've always rated Donny Van der Beek. You know, he's he's the person that scored the goal against us um, in the first round of the Champions League uh, semi-finals. You know, but Serge Aurier, 29 years of age. You know, in hindsight. Is Emerson Royale an upgrade on Aurier? Probably not. Defensively, Aurier was was woeful at times. You know, he gave away the free kick, which caught, which Laporte scored off of the set piece in the League Cup final, which cost us. But overall, is Emerson Royale an upgrade? Probably not. You'd probably say probably not. Man City have just gone one nil up. I'm not surprised they're playing Swindon. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow the Instagram. It is pinned in the live chat. Um, it is this link here. I'm going to start posting on there a lot more. Um, so give this a follow if you are on Instagram. Make sure you smash a like if you haven't already. Um, someone said, would I take Pedro Neto? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I would take Pedro Neto. In a heartbeat. Not even a debate. I would take him in a heartbeat. Um but yeah, we are going to be wrapping up very, very soon. Make sure you go and give that a follow before the end of the stream. And make sure you do smash like on the way out and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm not going to bother doing a live stream for the game over the weekend. But I am going to be back um, tomorrow with some transfer updates. And then um, Monday, we've got the show with Lee. And next week's going to be a very, very busy week. Tuesday, um, do some sort of preview with Dami. And then Wednesday, I am on We Are Tottenham TV doing a watch along with them for the Chelsea game. So busy, busy, busy week um, coming up. So make sure you are subscribed with your notification bell clicked on so you're locked and loaded. Tanganga made us lose against Chelsea. Yeah, that was one of the worst performances I think I've ever seen from Jaffa Tanganga. Um, I'm an Arsenal fan, but I can't see you getting over 50k subs by the end of the year. Uh, sorry, 
I'm an Arsenal fan, but I can see you getting. I miss, listen, if I hit over 50k sub by the end of the year, I'll personally take you out for dinner. Uh, cheers, appreciate that, mate. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much, pretty much gonna wrap up very, very, very shortly. No, um, they asked me to go on instead. We are Tottenham TV. I've never been on there before. It'd be nice to go to their studio and um, hopefully meet all of their their subscribers or talk to all their subscribers on the live stream. But I was going to go, but they've asked me to go on there instead. So I thought, why not? I don't know who's comment commentary, but someone was mumbling. Oh, on the on the Man City game, uh, Tottenham players look out of their depth against Chelsea. Embarrassing, yeah. By by by, you know, you look at like I said. We looked at that Chelsea squad. Let's do it again quickly. When you actually look at that Chelsea squad that we played, look at the personnel we put out against Chelsea. Let me get it up again. Let me share the screen again. Yep, yeah, share screen. Look at the players. So look at these stats, right? Can everyone see that, all right? 19 shots against five, six shots against two. 64 possession against 36, 90% uh, pass accuracy against 78, 669 passes against 380. Look at Chelsea's lineups. The Chelsea's lineup: Kepa, Aspilicueta, Rudiger, Saar, and Alonso. So one, uh, so Kepa's not a first star. Aspilicueta is not first choice. Saar isn't first choice, and Alonso is only playing um, purely because Chilwell was injured. So one, two, so four of their back five, including goalkeeper, are not first team. Rudiger is the only first team player there. Sal isn't first team. Ziyech isn't first team. And Kai Havertz isn't first team. So like, what? so they've only got, their only real, real first team players is Lukaku, Rudiger, Jorginho and Mount. And they've played us off the park. Then you look at our team. Our strongest front three in Son, Kane and Lucas. Oliver Skip, who's a first team player for us, but he is a rookie. And um, coming up, Davis Sanchez is first team for us. Hugo Lloris is first team. Emerson Royale is first team. Ben Davis is first team. Then you look at the look at the bench difference: Kovacic, Pulisic, Werner, Loftus Cheek, Ross Barkley, Hudson Odoi. Then you look at our bench: Regulon, it could make an impact. Harry Winks. You know, hit and miss. Brian Hill, Joe Roden, who hasn't played any football since he's been at his football club. Giovanni Lo Celso, who is the biggest waste of money that we've ever bought in in recent years. Deli Ali, who's finished. Galini is a backup goalkeeper who's not all that. And Undombele, who doesn't want to be at his football club. So you look at our bench. Out of those players, who is going to come on and make an impact? Like, real talk. Who is going to come on and go, do you know what? I'm going to take this game by the scruff of the neck. Because no one is. But you look at their bench, Pulisic, Kovacic, Werner, hudson Adoy. all four of those players could walk into our 11. And a lot of people are talking about Joe Rodon. Why is he not starting in this team? You know, it's the same old story. Um, it's just, you know, I just don't see how we are... You know, people are coming out saying, oh, yeah, we're going we're to beat them in the second leg. Yeah, if we get an early goal, it might be game on. But look at the difference in personnel. You know, you've got 90 million for Lukaku, 90 million for Havertz. You know, 75 million for their goalkeeper, although Lloris is better. But you've got 180 million strike force. We're, we're never going to go out and, and be able to compete with Chelsea because we don't we don't put the, amount, the same amount of money into the football club as they do. It's as simple as that, you know. Um but yeah, um, also on deadline day, we are going to be doing a three to four hour um, stream on deadline day. So make sure you tune in for that as well. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's the same old with Tottenham, isn't it? Same old. Look at that personnel. Look at their midfield of Jorginho, Sal, Ziyech and Mount against Hoiberg and Skip. Now, it's just a mismatch. Um, no one knows. No one actually knows why he hasn't been playing. And Tanga was never a good centre back. The only times he has a solid performance, he played right back. This is what I'm saying. His best performance is probably his debut against Liverpool. Let's be completely real about it. Um, but yeah, make sure you smash a like on the way out. I am going to wrap up now, guys. Thank you all for watching. Once again, next uh, Wednesday.
we're going to be doing channel or next tuesday sorry we're going to be doing channel um channel uh, memberships if you are a channel member click the link in the bio become a member you can come on and share your thoughts we are going to wrap up now guys make sure you smash a like on the way out and i'll see you all very very soon we'll be back tomorrow for more transfer updates um and we are going to stream